Okay, um, I think it was up to sort of about here with the nitrogen. We were going through the box diagrams for the battery died. So nitrogen, you've checked your periodic table. You've seen how many electrons they've got. We are filling it up in the boxes. So we put in two thus far, so we'll keep going. So next subshell, the 2s there, again two more. So that's four electrons used in total. Now the half arrow represents an electron. Never use a full arrow. A full arrow means two electrons, which you'll come into with the organic chemistry. So we've got three electrons remaining. Now, watch how I actually fill these up in the 2p. Notice I did not start pairing them. I didn't sort of put two in there. I've spaced them out. The reason for that, it's the weirdo on a bus rule. Electrons, they are negatively charged. Two electrons do not want to pair up next to each other. They will repel. So if there is space available, they will occupy it. So one, two, three, that's all full now. If I move on to something like oxygen, which has got one electron more than nitrogen, then I have to start pairing it there. So the box diagrams are useful for comparing the ionization energy of nitrogen and oxygen to look at the irregularity for that. Um, but we'll come into that with the, the periodicity topic a bit later since it covers everything to do with radius and ionization energy. I've uh, lost my piece of paper. Now there are two exceptions for the electronic configuration which you need to be aware of. Chromium and copper. So how these actually fill up. Uh, if I remember right, chromium, copper is the bigger. Okay, hopefully that's on camera there. Um, they're off the edge of the screen. You'll see with the copper I've said 4s1 3d10. I have not said 4s2 3d9. That's probably the standard way following thus far how you would have filled it up. Copper's a little bit odd in that sort of um, pushing this electron into the 3d with the 4s and the 3b being so close in energy which we'll come on to with the d block ion in a second. Um, the, the 4s is now actually a higher energy than the 3d once they start getting that full. So an electron transfers across to there and lowers the overall energy. Don't worry about sort of understanding that too much. You just need to be able to actually remember that configuration for copper. For chromium, quite similar. So you would expect chromium to be 4s2, 3d4, but this ties in with what we were saying about the, the, the weirdo on a bus rule before. Rather than pairing the electrons up in there, it's actually easier for chromium to push an electron across here and have 4s1, 3d5. If you've got any more electrons, so when you go on to sort of ones past chromium, you'd fill up the 4s, and then you would start filling up the 3D, so as per normal. But the copper and the chromium are the odd ones. Now with what I was saying there about the, the 4S and the 3D being so close in energy, it tends to trip people up a lot when they are looking at the D block ions for how to rate the electronic configuration of those. So I'll use the one which I've shown most of you. So manganese 2 plus. Now the way I would do this, find out how many electrons manganese has got as an actual element. So look it up in the periodic table, write down the electronic configuration for that. Uh, if I remember right off the top of my head, 25 hopefully. So 
So there is the element, not the ion yet, haven't come to do that. This is the element, this is manganese. Now, with it being 2 plus, you should be aware of what we said earlier, right at the start in the first video, when it's 2 plus, it means it's lost two electrons. When you've been doing the filling up, you've said the 4s is actually a lower energy than the 3d. So that's why we put electrons into 4s before 3d. However, that is when they are empty. When they start filling up and they become full, 4s actually has a higher energy than 3d. So they flip about that much. You always fill up 4s first, but when you are taking away, you always take away from 4s first. So the mistake what people make time and time again with this is they'll think 25 electrons initially, 2 plus, take away 2, 23, and then they'll fill up normally. And what you would end up doing with that is you would get 4s2, 3d3. That is incorrect. Start from the element, think about what I said. You fill up 4s first, but you also take away 4s first. So we would take away these first. So it'll be the same up to there. And it would be like that. That is the correct version for manganese 2 plus. So we've taken the electrons away from you first. If we were looking at manganese 3 plus, 4 plus, so forth, then you would start removing from the 3D afterwards. Um, that's more or less it for all the atomic structure. So we've been through the, the, the basics, the fundamentals which make up the atom. You, we've been through the mass spec and being able to write the, the electronic structure here doing the configurations in the SPD format. The ionization energy, check the periodicity video for. That's it, thank you.